Hello my soccer universe. Well, my plan was actually slightly differently, but then yeah, I realized it needs, it needs to be another short video and probably for the next few days the way things are going I will only do rather shortish videos meaning books, shirts. I don't know. I want to do the big um I want to collect jerseys to, you know, make more jersey reviews and yeah. Let's see, I have some other ideas as well, but all of these ideas usually involve quite some editing work and that's why I like those short videos and they are still around 30 to 40 shirts that I have not shown you. So this is a whole month's worth and there are enough books, scarves and so on. I also, probably by the end of next week, I'm gonna, uh, by, the, by the end of, yeah, of April, I will have another background here as well. I'm wearing my new Chelsea jersey, which honestly I have to say I like a lot more than I anticipated liking it. Uh, this 2006-7 uh, um, uh, 8 template is not a bad one and that jersey actually wears itself quite well. I didn't necessarily want to do a Premier League team uh, wearing this jersey, but I asked my older daughter of the jerseys, the club jerseys that are kind of left here, which ones shall I cover? And she chose West Ham. And me and West Ham, that's a long story. I think I told you already once that um, when I was visiting London twice within a year, I think it was in 2001 and 2002, if I'm not mistaken, um, Part of the allure of visiting London was to go to all the uh, big teams, uh, which of course were at the time were and still are um, Chelsea, uh, Spurs, and Arsenal in no particular order now. Um, I saw a game at Fulham, Craven Cottage, so that was fun. I didn't get a Fulham jersey because I I know I didn't like that jersey back then and now it would be one that is very much thought after the first Pizza Hut jersey with the first new crest. We also went out to uh, the bowling ground um, to see for West Ham but the store didn't have open, wasn't open there and we couldn't find anything. The only thing I got was a scarf that is hanging back there somewhere. So I always knew I needed to get a West Ham jersey. What's in addition is that I have to say these colors to me, this is for almost a typical British soccer jersey. And I know it's all down to Aston Villa. The maroon with the light blue, um, I know when I, the first time I went to London, I went with, with my aunt and she said, those are ugly colors. And I always thought this is actually quite gorgeous. And what makes it even worse is that if I would have bought a uh, West Ham jersey back then, it would be the Doc Martens shirt. True, the Doc Martens shirt doesn't look like a classical Aston, uh, Aston Villa. I'm getting confused. Uh, a classic West Ham jersey, but um, it's also one of those that is now quite sought after. Well, I finally got my West Ham jersey uh, last December, or actually end of November. It was a Black Friday sale where they had these uh, classic football shirts because I have to say, although I like the current one a lot with the light blue top and so on, uh, very 80s looking, I have to say this is the, cl the classic look and I absolutely love this one. I also like the crest with the castle a lot more than the current one where just the hammers and the shield. It's kind of a little bit too uh, plain. Let me move over here a little bit. I think I'm more comfy uh, this way. But yeah, uh, I saw it and I always wanted to have a West Ham jersey in this color size, sort of especially with the light blue sleeves. Uh, and they had it, it was relatively cheap and it's the last jersey worn at the bowling ground, so it has some significance to it as well. Yes, this makes it a monochromatic crest, but you see here, it says the bowling ground 1904 to 2016 still think one of the worst moves away from an old stadium with the golden umber logo and i really like this outline uh, because this is so classic looking and then the sleeves here uh, the Betway sponsor is rather unobtrusive i have to have to say the interesting thing is that there is umber markings here on the sleeves which actually on the light blue it's not all that visible. The other thing that is very uh, interesting is the heavy, heavy ventilation on the back of the jersey. That is really, uh, it goes 
almost all over and it's almost see-through I mean can take a look and I like here on the back it also says again the ball and ground as we had it before uh, pretty nice commemorative shirt I think it's a very nice West Ham jersey I anticipated wearing it a lot more often than, than, than I did but it had to do that West Ham really stinks at the moment um, I have a soft spot for West Ham because I'm an Iron Maiden fan and we know Steve Harris is a huge West Ham fan so therefore I always had a soft spot for those not so much for pa Paulican it's really mostly down to Iron Maiden so I actually was think I was thinking of getting the Iron Maiden West Ham kit that would have been cool as well but again I just love the crest here this is what I think the, this, the West Ham crest should have a castle I know they had one before where they even had uh, uh, towers with uh, roofs and so on but yeah looks great anyway let me know what you think about this jersey I probably will make it a habit now of wearing a little bit more now that no uh, season is going on I think it definitely deserves to be worn I really like the colors they are something different ah, I didn't show you of course it has the official Umbro tag but it has no tag telling us which technology or whatever this is doesn't really matter anyway give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed uh, this video drop a comment below and tell me uh, what do you think about this jersey? If you have any special memories attached with it, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.